Hey guys, Joseph and Daisy from K9 Sports Sack here. One of the most frequently asked questions that we receive is how to get the proper sized K9 Sports Sack for you and your best friend. Because there is no consideration that's more important than that, we decided to make this fun little video to show you how to get exactly the right size so you and your best friend have the safest, most comfortable ride possible. Whether you're trying to decide what size of K9 Sports Sack to purchase before you buy, or you're a returning customer who's just trying to make sure that you got the right size K9 Sports Sack, this video is the one for you. For future reference, this sizing guide can be found at caninesportsack.com sizing. It has been meticulously crafted and studied to help you pick the correct carrier for you and your best friend. However, first, a disclaimer. Sizing is not an exact science and is influenced by a number of factors. For example, and we'll show this a little bit later in the video, going strictly by the sizing measurements, Daisy here would fit into a small. However, she gets really, really excited every time we go out and she stands in the bag as shown here. After 10 minutes or so, she settles into the correct position like this. The quandary facing Daisy is that she's a medium at the beginning, but a small at the end. We've addressed this by employing a booster block, which splits the difference between sizes and creates the most comfortable ride for both of us. One piece of advice that sometimes works for those of you trying to decide between two sizes is to size up and get a booster block. If you've already purchased your K9 Sport Sack and have returned to this video because the K9 Sport Sack seems too small for your dog, try going for a walk or bike ride that's at least 15 minutes long to see if your dog settles into the riding position after the initial excitement of being on your back. If the bag seems too large but the measurements were correct, then you may want to consider a booster block like Daisy. If your dog is still drowning despite the addition of a booster block, it's time to get a smaller size. More on booster blocks in a moment. The K9 Sport Sack Air and Urban Series bags come in four sizes, large, medium, small, and extra small. The Air Plus comes in large, medium, and small. The sizing dimensions are the same, however the Air Plus holds more weight. You may be tempted to get the size that fits your dog's breed, however we have found that many breeds, we're looking at you French Bulldogs, vary widely in size and it's actually one of the least accurate measurement metrics. If gathering your dog's precise measurements is not feasible, then choosing based on breed is certainly better than guessing, which we absolutely do not recommend. We have found the following process to be unequivocally the most accurate way of getting the perfect size. Using a tape measure or ruler, measure your dog from collar to the base of the tail. For example, Penelope is 12 inches from her collar to the base of her tail, so she would fit into the extra small. Daisy here is 15 inches from her collar to the base of her tail, therefore Daisy would fit into a small. Gizmo is 18 inches from the collar to the base of his tail, so he fits into the medium. Crosby is 21 inches from collar to the base of his tail and would therefore fit into the large. When your dog is finally on your back, he or she should be sitting as shown in this picture, with rear end resting on folded hind legs, front legs extended through the armholes. The top of the bag should fit comfortably around your dog's neck and the base of the bag should coincide with the dog's tail. K9 Sport Sack is equipped with several straps and buckles that are designed to accommodate a wide range of dog sizes. However, if your dog is wider than the average dog of the same breed, then you may want to also measure your dog's girth. Wrap your tape measure around the widest part of your dog's chest and take note of the circumference. If your dog is larger than the measurements shown here, but would fit into that respective size based on neck to tail measurements, you may want to consider choosing the size up and using a booster block so your pet has enough room on the sides to be comfortable. Booster blocks are used in a variety of ways, including growing puppies, dogs that are between sizes, dogs that are too wide for the size down, but too short for the size up, or to simply provide padding or support to the bottom of the bag, or like Daisy, to accommodate dogs that need time to settle in. The maximum weight of the K9 Sport Sack and Urban Series bags is 30 pounds. Any dog larger than that will void the K9 Sport Sack warranty and is not eligible for a return. If you wish to carry a dog larger than that, you'll want to consider the Air Plus, which has a weight limit of 40 pounds. For instructions on how to get your dog in the K9 Sport Sack and other hints, tricks, and fine-tuning the proper posture, please check out our other instructional videos on K9 Sport Sack YouTube channel and on the Videos tab on our website, caninesportsack.com. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on any cutting edge developments coming from K9 Sports Act and to sign up for our mailing list on our website to receive future offers and promotions.